helped in breaking down what a first time buyer should expect and why you went for a four bed, etc. Well, I guess it's a Nigerian thing to hold back on vital information. Congratulations on your new home. <laughs> so, um, Mr. Peter, thank you for the congratulations, but in short, I should just tell you to come and sleep in my room. Welcome to my channel. My name is Laju and I share videos on my life in the UK, living in the UK, and anything that helps you guys really. So yeah, today I'll be answering all your questions about buying a house in the UK. I, I came ready, I came prepared guys. Like I have printed up all the questions and um, I hope I answer everything. Okay. <laughs> okay, so first off. I'll start with um, the common question that most people have been asking and I'll get right to it like you know people want to know how much was our house you know where is your house those are the common questions and I'll start with this particular comment that came at me Mr. Peter said would be nice if you spoke in specifics size type of house deposit paid location total price of the house you haven't held in breaking down what a first-time buyer should expect and why you went for a four bed etc well i guess it's a nigerian thing to hold back on vital information congratulations on your new home <laughs> that's how i read in my head that, that that was how this person sounded to me forget that congratulations every other thing you had to say was how you felt so um mr peter thank you for the congratulations but in short i should just tell you to come and sleep in my room i, I should give you everything like why did i choose a four bed who am i to choose a four bed like you know I, I, I just felt like the comment was aggressive. I think we should be emotionally intelligent even when we type comments on social media. No offense taken, but there's a reason I probably did not tell you, you know, the size of my house. Like, you want the specifics. You know, my house is 1,000 square meter feet. I don't know. It just, <laughs> the question, <laughs> I don't know. The person, the person was saying congratulations, but it felt more like the person was beefing. <laughs> I'm just saying. But he said I haven't helped. Uh, well, I'm sorry if I haven't helped you. I believe that I've helped so many people. So if you didn't feel helped, I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, there's a reason I decided to hold back on certain stuff. But you wanted the specific details. You know, you wanted to know the type of house. I put it up. If you watch my videos, you would have heard. We bought a Lumley by Prestimon. So my house is a Lumley. If I went for a four bed, can we not go for a four bed? I don't even understand how this works. Went for a four bed because we wanted a four bed. Excuse me. <laughs> we wanted a four bed. If you want a two bed, one bed, whatever you want. You know, so said i'm not telling the side it's deposit paid there's a reason i hold back on those kind of information it's my channel i mean i don't have to tell you how much you paid like should i be telling you that you paid this particular amount like why why who are you <laughs> that's not important the video did not say how much our house was no it says we bought a house in the uk <laughs> or whatever the title was so um yeah it's not a nigerian thing it's a personal thing i think when you have mr peter start your youtube and you know, tell us everything. You know, tell us the color of your floor. Tell us the color of your ceiling. Whatever, it's okay. I'm not Kardashian. I'm not a Kardashian. I I want to hold on to some things. It's not a Nigerian thing. It's a Laju thing. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. So I and my wife just came into the UK about six months ago. It's our it's our very strong desire to buy a house as soon as possible. Of course, the money never did. But there is no harm in gathering information and inspiration now well done congratulations on getting to the uk come to the uk welcome to the uk and um yeah it's good to get information so that's not a question so yeah welcome to the uk you know find all the um information that you need as much as possible and um so the next question says do you need to pay for the solicitor's services yes you do they are not free um the mortgage advice as i said they were you know free but solicitors aren't you have to pay you have to pay them their, their fee comes, you know, they will send everything you pay with the house, so it's not like you're paying them separately. So when you were raising the money, if the if your house was like maybe fifteen thousand, um, the, your deposit was fifteen thousand, the solicitors may charge you know another two thousand or something like that, uh, around that range. So yeah, you you will need to pay them. Um, your story was amazing. The Lord bless your family. How does one register to buy a house? I'm currently based in London. Any vital information will be appreciated. Thank you. Um, okay, so you don't register to buy a house. Um, I know you're in London, but you don't need to register. If you want to buy a house, you can just buy a house. You don't need to register your details. Nobody needs that information. You're not buying anything online. It's a house. So yeah, I hope that helps. 
I just stumbled on this video, girl. Slow down. You made watching it feel like taking a medical exam. I'm ah, sorry, sir, Mr. Kelvin. <laughs> See, I, I know what you mean. Like, medical school, like, you know how steeple chase, you're just running, <laughs> trying to answer all the questions as fast as possible. But I'm sorry, and I'm not sorry, but my brain thinks very fast, and my, I just try to catch up with my brain. Like, I, I am a very, very smart <laughs> and intelligent lady, and I think fast, I talk fast. Try to process my thoughts and you know and slow down worry about that but you can reduce the speed of your youtube as well i think you can put it at times one or minus one i don't know and these days everybody wants to listen to videos fast podcast fast so if you're if you if you if the person you're watching is talking fast i think it should be an advantage not a disadvantage <laughs> because who has time anyway that's just by the way i just really like that one and i wanted to share <laughs> because i know i talk fast how much was the mortgage please dm me to have an idea so yes like i said there's a reason i'm not sharing that what i'm gonna do because i have a couple of people asking this question how did you buy the house i want to buy a house i'm living in nigeria okay so that's not the same question but i have a couple like that so about the price of the mortgage the price we bought our house last year and now it's almost a year guys it's almost a whole year a whole year so the price about our house if i tell you that price i will be lying to you guys because it's not the same price now even like a month after the price had changed but normally by first month we're going to check how much the lumi house is in a bit so let's do a quick search of Loomly on the Persimmon website and see what the price is going for right now. So this is one in Suffolk area. Um, that's towards East Anglia. That's closer to London. This is 315 to 320. And um, let me just check Birmingham area, the West Midlands, if I will find any Loomly houses. Let's have an idea of how much the houses are now. So I can't see any Loomly here, but this is, they have some other options here. This is Olive Fields, 240 to 450. So I hope that helps, really. So for those asking for the price range, I hope this, you know, gives you an idea of what to expect and what to prepare for. So you are looking at 200 to 500 K. So the person that said, how did you buy a house? I want to buy, I'm living in, I'm not sure, I'm living in Nigeria or I'm living in Nigeria. I'm not sure what that is. But if you are just coming to the UK and you want to buy a house, my advice to you would be take it easy don't rush you know you're just coming into a new country buying a house is a permanent thing so you want to you know first get into the country where do you want to settle you may come into london and you find you don't want to live in london you may come into birmingham and you don't want to live in birmingham so you need to first know where you want to settle if you want to settle in a city in a town you know what you want if you just get there and you buy a house it may not really be the best decision you know you may get there you don't now like the community you don't have good school so there are some things that you really need to consider before you make it's a big decision so it does take time to just decide and then you you know you go ahead and buy if you are in a place if you've rented in a place for a while you've looked around you probably have started driving you know where is where and then you can say okay i want to buy this house so that would be my advice that don't just rush to buy a house because buying a house feels like using a biro to write biro is permanent like it had a sense of permanence you know but when you use a pencil, like when you rent, you can always erase and say, we are done in this house, let's rent another place. But when you buy a house, it's your house. You can always sell, but it's also a big decision to sell. Yeah, just, I'm just saying that. Then, wow, congratulations to you and your family. Please, how did you manage your daughter while you and your husband walked back to back? I love this question because it's, it's the truth. It's the reality of life. Like, childcare is an issue in the UK. Everyone knows that, even abroad generally. So care was an issue like but um we, i didn't work every day my husband had a family job so he went to work almost every day he had days off so on his days off i can take up some extra fees you know so it was a we had to find a balance and yes we spent a lot of money on child care so that, that was the funny thing you're trying to raise money to buy the house but you're spending more money to <laughs> for someone to take care of the child for you so yes we did spend a lot of money on child care but i wasn't working every day my work was more flexible had a lot of days off so i kind of tried to balance on my days off sometimes you save money because my child was already in primary school so my child being with me was me saving money if you get but when we sent her up to nursery you know we were paying for it and just had to it was a lot of math so my husband's rotor i had his entire calendar like we were okay you're off today i can walk you are walking today i will go you know it was like it was we had to work it was a partnership yeah that, that's just you have to work together and 
yes, you spend more on childcare, but you, when we, when I see, okay, if I pick up this shift, I'll make time with this, and I can definitely pay childcare easily. So we have to just work like that. Um, is there a particular age limit, age limits to buy a house in the UK? I'm not aware, but I don't think so. I think there are celebrity children that have bought houses. At least maybe their parents help them and stuff. But I don't think anybody would say you should buy a house. Maybe you know in the UK, 18 plus, you should be able to buy a house. If you are less than 18, but you have the money, I'm, I'm sure there, there are ways around it. <laughs> okay. Um. The next one says, "Hello, could you please help me? I'm, I've been looking for a house since last year, finding it difficult to get one. Could you please help?" So, um, I don't really understand why this question, what this question is about, because there are houses, there are so many houses in the UK. So, where is it that you are looking for a house in a particular area and you don't have a house, or what do you mean? Or you are trying to raise the money because their houses, these people want you to come and buy the house, they want you to spend your money. So, their houses in the UK, just go online, Google houses in the UK, or houses near me for sale. Or do you want new houses, old houses? If you need to find houses, you can go on rightmove.co.uk, you can go on Zoopla. There are houses, there are so many other websites that you can find houses available. Yeah. Or you could just look for the yellow, you know, when you're driving, that yellow and black sign means new houses. So you can look for that as well okay so what we are the investments we did so others can learn i believe i made a video on this and i spoke about our investments i spoke about our savings i spoke about the nigerian stuff called a job you know so i'll put the link i hope it helps you please where is this place you bought your house how much did you buy it so i had this question a couple of times for security reasons as well i've chosen not to share where we live but i, I can share that i live in the west midlands so yeah how much we bought it is also insignificant at this moment like i said it depends on where you live in the uk if you're living down south london area places nearer to london milton Keynes and the like you definitely spend more if you come up more west midlands a little less if you go up it's even lesser so yeah it's lesser so <laughs> that's a word like that i'm just checking it's lesser an english word so yes it all depends on what part of england or scotland Wales that you choose. I can't really, no, I cannot really talk about, you know, Scotland and Wales. I don't know those parts or Northern Ireland of the UK. I don't know those parts very well. But if you're in England, those areas, you know, they matter. The lower, the, the closer you are to a city also matters. So if you are living near a very vibrant city, you may also spend more. Go online. Where do you want to buy your house? See the prices and it will determine. The price of my house should not determine whether you buy your own house. I don't know. I don't think that would change anything really. Um, can you recommend your solicitors that understand our Nigerian Ajo? I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would love to. Um, they are the quality solicitors. Yeah, and um, they've been since. You can check it online. I'll just write it. This is a free ad for them. But yeah, it was very easy with them. They were very, they didn't even stress us at all. But those first ones, never again. <laughs> Congratulations, Ladju. How much does the house cost and how many years mortgage is the mortgage going to run for? So yeah, once again on the price, it's insignificant. Trust me. We bought our house and all. And uh, how many years is the mortgage running for? I believe our mortgage is for 35 years. Yeah, it's a long time. I'll probably be old. Come on, man. Somebody go down hold though. <laughs> I'll be almost... I don't know. How old am I now? I'll be almost 70. I can't even remember my age. But yeah. So by God's grace, either we sell and buy another one, or I don't know what the plan is yet. But yeah, we'll pay it, yeah, but no rush. Okay, so this other one says, congratulations. I think you should be more precise and help dreamers like us. Um, we want to know what the cost of the house is, is around different places so that you can start planning. And yeah, like I said, it all depends on which area you are based in the UK. The more down south you are, the more money you spend. The more you go up, the less money you spend, but they are all still quite expensive, you know. So, yeah, and now there's inflation. So that inflation is a huge factor. Like, there's inflation. Our house your, our house price last year has really gone up now. Like, people are like, wow, you're so lucky. How did you get your house at that price and all that? The price has really gone up now. So inflation is really eating things up at the moment. So, yeah, look at where you want to settle, and that will really determine... If you can, you know, afford it and you can start planning from there. Um, this one says, which part of the country um, am I? West Midlands. I'm in the West Midlands. And um, how fast was it to raise the balance and all? So, okay. 
Yeah, so in terms of raising it, we raised it in three months. Like, we bought the house in three months. We saw the house September, and by December, we moved into the house. It was That was how fast it was. So, yes, we walked out for it, and that was it. Like, I'm saying it now in two sentences, but, guy, it was hard work. It was really tough. <laughs> I mean, that time, there was... That was no every pound, every penny was important. Like, no, we were, we were not eating out. There was no KFC, there was no McDonald's, there was no buying food outside. We ate what we had. We, you know, we just lived within our means strictly. I didn't buy clothes. <laughs> it was like, babe, let's just pay our bills and say, pay our bills. So it can really, you know, put a lot of stress on you. But you know, for the joy set before you, you can enjoy the cross. So for ourselves, we give ourselves that, okay, for this period, this is what we are going to do. And I'm glad it was three months for us because you know, some people have to do it longer. You may have to stay for six months, for one year, for three years, you know. But it was what we wanted, what we needed to do, and we did it. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that's it. So the guy asking about couples, it depends on how much you guys are making. You see what, what is around you. And I, like I said, there are a lot of schemes around that can help you. We didn't use any. Someone asked about help to buy scheme. I can't remember. I can't see the question here, but I saw that question about did we use any scheme? No, we didn't use any scheme. We just um yeah, we just went head, head on. We didn't use any scheme. But you can take advantage of those schemes. They are there to help you. It helps, you know, you can drop five percent, you don't have to drop ten percent if you have the money really. So your point of buying a house in the UK is if you if you have the money, see. What I realized in this UK stuff is buying a house in the UK. If you have the money, you have you have the five hundred thousand pounds, you have three fifty thousand pounds. See, they will sell the house to you as long as they, you can confirm that the house is not from money laundry or fraudulent places. You know, they just want to confirm that because these people want your money. So most people don't have that money. So we all go to a lender. We, you know, we go through the mortgage route. So if you are going through that particular way, you have to now be able to show that you can raise the deposit or you have the deposit. I still show how you saved it, you know, it's from savings or whether it's from family, whatever. I just show how you raised your money. But yeah, I don't think it will change anything. Oh, there was a question. I'll put it up. I remember the lady was asking how, you know, um, if you're a nurse or something, how you can get how, what it takes to buy a house. See, I'm, I'm not a nurse, so I can't really say. I don't think it's different if you're a nurse. I think everybody can buy a house whether you're a nurse or not it doesn't really matter even if you're a student i believe you can buy a house in the uk you know i'm i'm not don't quote me but what i said is what i'm saying is it all depends on how much money you have also your visa status if you are resident in the uk and you want to buy a house how long have you been in the uk they want to see this thing so if you haven't been in the uk long enough you know it may some lenders will not want to give you the money but some lenders will still go ahead and give you the money but they may ask for more money say oh instead of 10 percent drop we had someone ask us for 25 percent deposit i mean where am i going to get that kind of money from so some people can say i'll get that kind of money so some people can say okay drop 25 percent deposit because you know you haven't been in the uk long enough or because you're on tier two visas we, we we got our house on a tier two visa so it wasn't like we were on any citizenship anything yet we were on tier two visa when we got our house and some people did not want to lend us the mortgage advisor was telling us oh these lenders are not willing but this lender is willing but wants more money this lender is willing but wants 10 percent you know so those are the things your mortgage advisor will do for you yeah so um i hope i'm not babbling but i hope i've been able to answer your questions so far those are the questions that i saw and i have tried my best to answer thank you guys for watching till next time don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to share bye